Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to cover out a couple finds that uh, I've come up with with you guys. So if you've watched for any length of time now, you know I have got this bit of a fetish for dial indicators. So I just love these things. Uh, so I've got a number of them. I even did a prior episode where I made a wall hanging mount for my uh, half dozen or so of these uh, gauges. But in this episode, what I really want to focus on is in a couple episodes back, I did these DROs for the uh, Harbor Freight Mini uh, lathe. And one of the things I came up with is the tail on this was a little bit short, uh, especially the way I had it mounted. So I was going to 3D print um, an adapter to go on there, and I did. I really wasn't happy with it, so I decided to look for something else with a little bit more precision, and this is what I've come up with. So, what, uh, so first off, if you didn't know it, this NP screws out. So when we take this out, what we can then do is take these extensions and we take the extensions and we can screw them into the base and like such. And then we can take our end and then we can screw it in the end. Now, one of the things you have to watch, these don't fit all gauges. So, um, they seem to fit most, but I've got some of the smaller, which seem to be about this size, digital gauges. Uh, it won't fit, but it seems to fit about three quarters of them. They seem to vary in size depending upon manufacturer. Uh, but with that said, now we, we have, we can set this back on the lathe quite a bit and still have a lot of play here. So without worrying of the saddle coming in too close to this or what have you, the, you know, knobs hitting it. So really a great addition to any toolkit and again these were these were super cheap the other piece that uh, i also found interesting because this, if you remember in the one dro episode i put a washer on the end here an m3 washer uh for to, to catch the saddle as it moved back and forth and what i was thinking again in 3d printing up something but again we have all these neat little ends and so actually what i end up doing is see this little end here so this this extends it out from a, a small nubbing like this so if we take this off we can actually screw this on here screw this in here and then boom you know this has, gives us a bigger surface so you notice we got all kinds of different surfaces to to uh, add in so we can take this one off and then what we can do is we can uh, replace it with this one. Now, I thought this was a little bit interesting, especially for my poor man's DRO, is what I can do is I can take this one and I can screw this in. And then because you remember the washer and the offset, what I can do is I can take this now and index this back around. So this is hitting up against the saddle off to the side. And I can, uh, hope I'm getting this all in frame, you know, touch off the saddle and measure it that way. So again, I thought these were really cool. Again, not expensive. Um, and, and, and again, if you're doing any type of machine work, etc., these are sort of must-have pieces, even if it's from a hobbyist standpoint. So I'm rather geeked about these. I've added these to my tool collection. Um, again, and I have some links for these down below. So... Do you have any other kind of cool dial indicator stuff you want to share? I'd be interested in hearing. Again, I've got a bit of fascination for these guys and like to collect stuff around it. So, again, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, also, don't forget to hit the bell button. Um, you actually got to go down below the icon over there. It's just a reminder for you to hit the bell button. And swag shops up in the corner. We can catch some new swag. Maybe I'll come up with some dial indicator shirts. Cheers. Catch you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel. Oh, no.